that's one of the reasons why I think this game is awesome. Crisis 2. Oh my god, Grizz. I've been having so much fun with this game over the weekend. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, in between playing Magic the Gathering online with APL Fisher and Dunkus. And by the way, APL, if you're watching this, I'm fucking convinced you have a vendetta against me. I know that you probably think the same thing about me towards you, but it is purely retaliatory, okay? I strike first because I know that you're just going to aim, aim at me the entire time, and so I make my presence felt in a big, big way. And if you want to continue fucking with me, I will fucking end you every single game that we play. Got that? You got that, Chief? I hope you're watching, and if you're not, feel free to tweet this at him or something like that. I got my eyes on you. Always. Even when I'm not on Twitter. I know I know what you're saying. <clears throat> right. So this is Crisis 2. Uh, this game is amazing. I didn't think it was amazing at first. In fact, I thought it was a piece of shit at first. I thought it was super clunky. Um, I didn't think that the, uh, that the controls were that intuitive. Um, I thought that it needed more aim assist. I thought all these things. And... Uh, at the same time, I was interested in it, and I said, if I can give myself enough time to train my muscle memory to understand exactly what I need to do in any given situation, then uh, at that point, if I still don't like it, okay, I'll walk away. And uh, I'm glad I stuck around. It was a long investment. And um, <clears throat> I think in a lot of ways, this game is a hardcore game. I think it takes... I think it takes someone, I mean, you really have to like this game if you want to get into it. Some games are, are pretty casual. You can hop in and see immediate success. And I think that Call of Duty sort of falls into that. And I don't, I don't know if I'm saying that to like, to bag on Call of Duty. I, I think it's fine that it's a casual game. That's how I got into it. If it wasn't casual, then, then I probably would have never got into the game. And I think that you can sort of transcend the casualness of that game and you can get on a skill level that not everyone can get um, but this isn't about I'm not gonna talk about Call of Duty this is a crisis 2 commentary uh, this is a game of solo team instant action which is uh, essentially the same as mercenary so no squads allowed it's me playing a party of randoms with a party of randoms and I'm playing on statue and the uh, the modules that I'm using and I'll, I'll speak in COD speak, so some of you who don't understand Crisis quite yet can understand. Modules are basically perks. So uh, you get three module classes, you get three different tiers of modules, and each one of them upgrades twice, depending on if you do something with it. Like, for example, Armor Enhance is a module that uh, it drains armor s slower if you're going to be using that nano suit ability. Um, and if you want to upgrade that, like right now I'm looking at my screen and I have 180 kills out of 350 kills while in armor uh, in order to get the next upgrade. The first upgrade that I got makes it so that uh, you can, you can, you're more, you're more mobile when you have armor activated. And so usually when you activate armor, you're super slow. And then when you upgrade armor enhance, you're a little bit faster. Um, so anyways, I'm using the armor enhance module. I'm using the uh, Stealth Enhance module, which uh, lessens the amount of energy that it takes if you want to cloak. And then I'm using Mobility Enhance, which means that uh, my energy isn't going to drain as fast if I'm running or jumping. Excuse me. I just ate half a pizza right before I did this, and I'm trying not to burp as loud as I can into this microphone. But <clears throat> So really the meta game that comes into, comes into play when you play Crisis 2 is... It's all about how you use your nano suit abilities, and um, I'm I'm a rusher as as you guys can tell by watching this gameplay. I play like such a maniac when I play this game, and that first clip that you saw me where I kill a guy and then I you know I jump off the ledge and I kill another guy in midair, you can do that in this game. And uh, the scores that you're gonna see in Crisis 2 aren't aren't gonna be like other AAA shooters. You're you're not gonna see like a 50 and 2 TDM because TDM only goes to 50. Uh, if you're going, like the end of the score of this right, right here is 16-2, and two, and that's a really good score for this game. I mean, albeit I am playing in a, like a mercenary playlist and a solo playlist, but even when I squat up, you know, like I can, I can regularly put up 2-1 to one numbers against, you know, I just played a ranked match right now where there was a level 50 on the other team, a level 46, and I, I went 16-9, uh, and nine, something like that, so... 
I can do I can hold my own just fine against experienced players too. Um man, uh, I just kind of burned through this commentary, but I just I I haven't really been feeling like making commentaries lately, but this game just playing this game makes me want to hop on and uh show you guys some exciting gameplay. I have a bunch of gameplay that's just, just super exciting. Um and I don't know what happened, but some sometime at the beginning of this weekend something just clicked for me. Where uh, after about six or seven hours, I, I finally started to understand how to play this game correctly. Or maybe more correctly than before. I still have a little bit of improvement to go, but... I mean, in the meantime, I'm still I'm still running around the entire time. and Some of these gameplays are going to be pretty exciting to watch, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, that's the deal. I, th I think I'm going to start posting some Crisis 2 uh, gameplay. Kill cams aren't the best, final kill cams aren't the best, uh, but apart from that, the game is just so much fun, it's retarded. Uh, peace out, dudes.